this week at Coffee and Tools. Got some projects in the garage. Come on, let's go in the garage and have a look. Uh, got something else going on, too. Uh, there's uh, some strange noises in the floor right now, but uh, come on in and have a look around. Let's see what we can bring in here. Man, that, that worm was, uh, that's, that's a lot of trouble in a shop, isn't it? <laughs> oh, made the jump. We're getting, we're coming up on Halloween, so that ought to be good. This uh, next project is involving a, uh, this fence. I think this is the last, uh, real, last item we're going to be probably doing with the fence. And I had to go to Tractor Supply and Lowe's to get everything I needed, but I uh, needed a little knob, so we're going to be putting that at the back here with a uh, quarter 20. And it's a four inch uh, carriage bolt, which will go down underneath and it'll help to become the lock for back here. Of course, we've got to drill a hole uh, through this. And I'll also be getting a piece of lumber back here uh, against the uh, saw to run back and forth on this back. The size of the lumber I'm dealing with right now is uh, three quarter inch thick. This part here is sort of, it really doesn't matter a whole lot. I'm going to be cutting something down to work back here and we're going to have to glue it which means it'll have to sit overnight so another uh, two day event. Who knew? Let's close in so we can see exactly what's going on here. Yeah so we're about the back of the saw and here's the, uh, the fence. So here's the piece that I'm looking at here right now and that's just a little T thing. Quarter 20. It's got a nut stuffed inside of it so that this bolt can, you know, thread in and out of it. And it'll be, you know, going down through here like this. The other part of this project is I probably need, there's a couple different ways to deal with it. But what I'm looking at is to either cut this out or put a fence on the back of it. So it'll like this, I'll just show it to you over here. So it has something back here to lock into and actually be up the front here a little bit with the bolt pulling to create a bit of a clamp. It's just to create a soft clamp. It's not a serious clamp because really all we want to do is stiffen this up at this end and lock it in place so that when we're pushing some heavy lumber through, we don't have to fight the fence or worry about the fence, you know, deflection or anything going on. So far, again, like I said, real happy with the way the fence has gone down, but this is the next part of it and that's just to sort of, you know, lock it up. So I guess we need a hole. And I'll tell you right now, this is quarter 20, so you're not going to drill a quarter inch through here. You're going to drill something a little bit bigger. I'll have to look at my drill bits and figure out what I'm going to, what size. But it's probably going to be 5 16ths unless I have anything smaller in a stepped drill. Yeah. This, again, this is the piece. So what I'm going to do is drill a 5 16ths about an inch off the back end here. So it's not really a big deal. Y'all get a good look at that? Yeah, there we go. Good. I wonder if that lens can come closer. Right. There we go. Right about there. And that looks nice and centery. Yep. Looking good. And I'm just going to gently uh, ease the drill bit down through. Okay, so we'll bring our bad boy back here. There we go. And of course, there's our. This is again just just to show you that this is going to be really oversized sloppy because let's face it the uh, hole here doesn't really matter. I mean this this it needs to be sloppy because ideally we're going to be pulling on this tension here. That's what we want. So we don't care about this. I might put a washer here, big flat washer, so if I can find one. Something along uh, yeah, something along that line would look pretty cool. But this needs to be drilled out. It's too small. You ready? Rock and roll. Yeah. All right. Okay. So now we're going to use the tack life <laughs> to cut the piece that I need for back there. And I need to take just the I need to take the line, as they say.
Okay, so we got that. Now we use the depth and just. Okay, and there's our new block for you know what, right there. Yep. Now all I gotta do is I'm gonna do a uh, countersink a couple of holes here so we can drive the uh, screw in really deep. Recording? Yep. Okay, good news, bad news. Uh, this is the piece, and I've cut the two small holes in here. I'm just going to set this on here like this because, it's, again, it's not it's not a precision item, but we're going to have to come back tomorrow because now the glue has to set. So, <laughs> so this morning, it's the next day. All the glue is hardened up on this thing now. And what I'm going to be doing is uh, cutting this block and drilling a quarter inch hole in here. And then that is going to come through. We're going to be tightening this up this way. So the carriage bolt will actually be driven into this wood and sucked up tight, hopefully. At least maybe even put a little glue on it just to make sure the carriage bolt is, you know, is tight and stays tight in there. And this will be the part that actually acts as the clamp to lock this end of the fence and make it tight. So cut, drill. We'll be right back. So there's the carriage bolt. I've drilled the hole, cut the length, and now I've driven the carriage bolt in. You know, what I need to do now is just push this tight down into the lumber because that square part of the carriage bolt is what's going to help hold this bolt in place. I've also put just a dab of wood glue around here too because that will help really freeze things up a little bit. Yeah, to uh, <clears throat> show you this little process, here's the carriage bolt still sitting uh, out of the block of wood a little bit. So you can see it's you know not quite sunk into the wood just yet. I got a socket and a washer and a nut and everything else back here with a good heavy uh, wrench. And the glue, once it hardens up, hopefully that'll help it this uh, project to last for a bit. I'll just get the assembly back off. So here we are. We've got it, and now we're ready to do the install. The final piece of the puzzle here. Very good. That'll be fine. It's just, a, like I said, it's just a clamp. So, and a flat washer, and our uh, our little top here. And it's a pretty rough piece, but there you go. So, I'm just tighten that up a little bit. <laughs> a little bit of pressure, and yeah, that's locked onto the saw already. That's already. Look at that. Yeah, the whole saw. The whole saw is moving, so really that's, that'll do the trick. It's, I'm going to sand all this up a little bit, make it a little prettier, but you guys don't need to see that part. That's like, yeah, boring. So anyways, that's the uh, final piece to this uh, fence for the time being. Yeah, I don't really plan on uh, anything more at this time for the fence beyond I'm going to take some sanding blocks and take the sanding machine and clean all around these corners and just sort of you know make this a little bit prettier than whatever it is but other than that that just gives me a good fence to uh, work with on this uh, tack life saw hey thanks for watching coffee and tools again and we'll be back with other crazy stuff and more halloween coming up <laughs> until then have a great day guys